Hello, Andy here with Pop Yachts. We've got a 2001 Rinker. This is the 310 Fiesta V. Great mid size express cruiser. Comfortable ride. Powerful twin 5 liter Mer Cruisers. Paired with Bravo 3 outdrives with counter rotating props for better transfer of power and torque. It's kept on a lift. The owner normally keeps all of the canvas and cushions in their garage just to keep the sun off everything. Here's the load of extras. You've got your forward and rear bimini as well as a full enclosure with bug screens on them. Filler cushion for the inside table when it drops down to create another sleeping berth. And then the other filler cushions. If you're wanting a dinghy, got a davit system. Locks on to the swim platform, acts as a rocker, so you can have your dinghy on there. You can see the mounting holes. Nice extended swim platform with three step stainless steel ladder. We'll get a quick peek at the outdrafts. Tide's coming up on me, but wanted to be able to climb on board easily. Fender storage back here molded into the transom. You got your freshwater hookup. Plenty of cup holders. This is a wide 10 foot 4 inch beam safety with the transom door. Hot and cold freshwater shower. Newer Kenwood speakers and stereo system installed. Nice wide transom bench. And then those other cushions go on these ledges here. Battery selector switches. This also has an onboard generator with very low use. It's a Kohler. Love the wraparound table. Nice low profile stainless steel grab rails too. Storage under this area. Top load if you want to put a waste bin in there. Then you got your freshwater sink with a filler. Plenty of room for gear and got a spot to plug in the blender, mixing up your favorite cold beverages. Helm's laid out beautifully for everything within the captain's reach. Nice double wide bench seat. You can see the second deck table stowed under there. All newer gauges were replaced. Got a digital depth gauge, Raymarines RL70C radar system, your fuse panel, and a standard horizon GPS chart. This is the 175 color unit, and a newer standard horizon Eclipse VHF radio. Got your anchor windlass controls right here at this seat, and then some molded in step with the door shut and the walkthrough windshield, you got easy access to the bow. There's mounts installed if you wanted to have a sun pad put on here. They usually just throw out towels. All the hatches look good. They're a tinted Bomar material. Keep some of that heat out. We've got the spotlight and then windless. Easy roll out roller. I don't see any spider cracking anywhere in the gel coat. Love the height of the stainless steel railing on here too. And just so much seating area. Let's go ahead and check out the cabin. A couple steps down. Smooth slide on the door. Plenty of headroom in here. I really like how the wide beam carries forward. Got galley to starboard. Two steps down. Nice clean carpet. The upholstery is clean too. No tears or stains to note. And the table drops down where that other filler cushion goes in. So you've got another sleeping berth. The aft cabin. They've got the cushions inside. Storage. 
underneath this panel. And the shower has had a new sump pump installed. Your air conditioning controls, rear hanging locker, some more speakers, and the stereo head unit mounted here. Your forward hanging locker. You can see screens for all the hatches, and the side hatches are also screened. Nice big V berth forward. Again, clean and comfortable. The headliner looks all good. No areas of sagging or loose points. It smells clean and odor free in here. Galley has a nice amount of storage. Above and below, you've got an onboard microwave, Mr. Coffee coffee maker, and then your circuit breaker panel. Shore power selection, generator switch over, remote start for the generator. And all your DC. Two burner stove top and a nice size refrigerator with a freezer at the top portion. Onboard head behind this door. Chapsco manual flush toilet. Two power outlets, storage under the sink, a little more storage above the window, and lighting. And the sink also doubles as just shower head and it's all molded fiberglass that has that single drain. Let's check out the motor. Nice access with the electric engine hatch. You've got the Merc Cruiser 5 liter EFIs with digital ignition. Uh, newer long blocks were put in in 2017. The exhaust manifolds and riser elbows were also replaced at that time. Uh, just over 100 hours of use since then. Uh, most recently the hydraulic lines for the trim tabs as well as the trim tab pump were replaced. You can see your Kohler generator. Uh, 27 hours on it. Powers all systems on board when not at the dock. Take some time. Check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com. And then give me a call. My name is Andy. Look forward to meeting you in person for a walkthrough tour.